We'll even show you an off-road worthy electric motorcycle as well as a rideable built for the sky. But first, surfing is hard. But it doesn't have to be with the Boost Surf electric surf fin. This electric rideable provides over 20 pounds of thrust, which is equivalent to 15 people rowing a canoe at full speed. You could even paddle out to your favorite break, hands-free like a surfing superhero. Mounting is as simple as unscrewing and removing your old fin, sliding in the special insert, and attaching the boost fin. Then pair the fin to the wristband and watch the magic work. This unusual rideables motor has a peak power output of 800 watts. Attach the wristband and you're ready to go surfing. You might even save enough energy for the beach party afterward. But hey, you know what's more unusual than an electric surfboard? A four-wheeled recumbent electric vehicle built to tackle the toughest off-road terrain. Well, that and the insanely honorable mission of helping people with disabilities explore the outdoors, allowing them to engage in off-road activities such as hunting, fishing, and general off-road exploration. The vehicle's 100% electric powertrain means quiet operation, and the Coyote's compact size and long-range capabilities further contribute to its uniqueness, allowing it to be transported in the back of a mid-size SUV. The emphasis on enabling outdoor adventures for people with disabilities sets it apart in the electric vehicle market. But just to be clear, this electric rideable is for disabled and able-bodied riders alike. Oh, and you can bet your sweet ass this thing's made in the USA. Remember that snow scooter I mentioned before? Well, this is it. The Urban Drift Snow Kit turns their G63 model into an off-road electric scooter, as well as a full-blown electric snowmobile, creating three different options for your electric rideable. There's even a detachable seat so you can ride in style. The front and rear shock absorbers create a safe ride, and the top speed is 15 miles per hour. And while the Urban Drift looks great in the snow, getting back on the pavement is easy too. And now for that unheard of Tesla alternative. In a sea of the same EVs, as the brand claims, the all-electric VinFast VF8 promises a surprisingly luxurious interior, all-wheel drive, and 402 horsepower. It also has a 15.6-inch screen that's not only bigger than your laptop, but 0.2 inches larger than the screen in a base Tesla Model 3 as well. There are eight bright colors to choose from, level two highway assist, and a 10-year unlimited battery warranty that's good for one million miles. Whoa! The Pininfarina design is gorgeous, and they even have over 90% charging station coverage. Relaxing even becomes easier thanks to the panoramic sunroof that opens all the way to the rear of the car. Unfortunately though, according to their website, California is the only state they are currently selling in. Want them to sell in your state? Comment your state name below. What's more unusual than an electric bicycle? A regular bike that's been converted into an electric bike. That's what. This is the Zipforce e-bike kit, one of the world's first plug and play e-bike upgrades. Just click it in, tighten it down, turn it on, and you're good to go. Well, after installing the base plate, of course. The max tire size on this model is 6.5 centimeters, or roughly two and a half inches. Attach your phone to the included handlebar mount, download the ZipForce app, and the two will automatically pair. All the information and statistics will be displayed right on your phone. The max speed is 18 miles, or about 25 kilometers per hour. The power output is 250 watts. Is an e-bike transformer kit not weird enough for you? Then how about an EV with nowhere for the driver to sit? I don't know about you, but that seems pretty unusual to me. This little bugger is the Cleveland One, a platform-based robot carrier designed for the efficient and safe delivery of goods. The vehicle uses vision technology, machine learning, and sensors to operate in autopilot mode, and it can also be teleoperated by a single operator who can monitor multiple vehicles at once, reducing delivery costs. The Cleavon 1 has been tested on public roads and private property, and it has the necessary permits to drive on public roads in several countries. It also offers both plug-in and wireless charging solutions, and can easily fit pallets of goods on its cargo platform. Additionally, the vehicle's top speed is 18 miles per hour, and the range is 45 miles. A few months back, Rolls-Royce revealed their fully electric Spectre model, complete with a $420,000 price tag, I would make a Ford 20 reference, but after researching, I found out this is actually about the average price Rolls Royces go for. Yikes. Anyways, the 2024 Rolls Royce Spectre is the first all electric vehicle from Rolls Royce, and it features two fully electric motors, producing a combined 527 horsepower. It is built on the same platform as the brand's Phantom Sedan and Cullinan SUV and offers a driving range of up to 291 miles per charge. 
The Spectre's full price tag is $422,750, and that not only provides you with a 102 kilowatt hour battery, but also a luxurious and silent interior, as well as standard driver assistance features. And another unusual thing to note is that way back in the year 1900, Charles Rolls had this to say about the electric vehicle. The electric car is perfectly noiseless and clean. There is no smell or vibration, and they should become very useful when fixed charging stations can be arranged. Boy, did he get that right. Just sorry it took so long. The Segway Zyber is a new electric rideable that redefines the concept of electric bikes. It says, yeah, this thing has pedals, but it's 100% pure badassery. It is designed for off-road terrain and long-distance travel. Featuring a motorcycle class frame and an extra large seat, the Zyber has a dual battery system, providing a range of up to 95 miles on a single charge. You know, being manly used to mean having the coolest gas-powered motorcycle. But what if that changed to who has the coolest and most unique e-bike? If so, then you'd probably want to get your hands on the Super 73 Indian Motorcycles cross-brand rideable, the EFTR Hooligan. This e-rideable offers a unique blend of motorcycle-inspired design and off-road capability. With a top speed of 28 miles per hour and a 960 watt hour battery that provides up to 70 miles of range, this bike delivers an exhilarating ride both on and off the pavement. The 1.2 kilowatt motor and larger battery capacity set it apart from other e-bikes, especially when unleashed in off-road mode, which uncorks up to 2,000 watts of power craze and juice. But if that isn't unusual enough for you, wait till you see this electric drift car for adults. The Fido Beast electric scooter is a thrilling ride that combines the versatility of an e-scooter with the power of a go-kart. Oh, and the seat of a go-kart too. I told you it was unusual. With a top speed of 28 miles per hour and a range of over 62 miles, this ultra-fast standing seated scooter offers an unparalleled riding experience. It is powered by a 500 watt front and 800 watt rear motor providing enough boost to put a smile on anyone's face. The scooter is equipped with front and rear suspension for added comfort. Plus, the unique ability to ride it in either a standing or sitting position adds to the excitement of the riding experience. And if we head over to their website, you'll see the price is $23.99. The Taito S1 e-scooter is like a normal scooter, with one unusual distinction, a third wheel. The two front wheel and one rear wheel design not only provides stability, but also offers a unique riding experience that is more akin to surfing the streets than riding the streets. The patented suspension and pivot system ensures a smooth ride, allowing riders to navigate various terrains and more safely lean in and out of turns. Additionally, the Taito S1 is equipped with a new folding mechanism. The S1 offers a top speed that is suitable for urban commuting and its long-range capability allows for extended use between charges. And if we head over to their website, you'll see they won the Micro Mobility Award for Best E-Scooter. Another unusual electric rideable is this thing, the Coco Motors Walk Car, an extraordinary personal electric vehicle that defies traditional transportation norms. Resembling a laptop with wheels, this innovative device is designed to be carried with you wherever you go, making it one of the most portable rideables ever. And despite its small size, the walk car boasts impressive features that set it apart from other personal electric vehicles. On top of its unprecedented portability, the walk car delivers a top speed of 6 to 10 miles per hour, making it a swift mode of personal transportation. It can even go up small curbs and over sidewalk nubbies with ease. The max climbing capabilities are 10 degrees, and the power output is 260 watts. It's also quite agile and maneuverable. The maximum range is 7.4 miles, and if we head to their website, you'll see this thing is driven by the world's smallest in-wheel motor. Pretty cool. Up next is the Pivotal Helix EV Tall, an unusual rideable that stands out due to its unique wing and rotor design. This innovative airborne vehicle not only increases lift during forward flight, but also supports smooth takeoffs and landings. making it an interesting advancement in personal aviation. And unlike more traditional vertical takeoff and landing vehicles, the Helix's design offers a combination of efficiency and stability, making it a real option for the future of personal air transportation. With its focus on increased lift and smooth flight operations, the Helix offers a glimpse into the future of air travel. And in case you notice the giant opener.arrow on the side of this aircraft and are wondering why I'm referring to it as the pivotal Helix, Allow me to clarify, 
The company originally started under the name Opener, and their flagship product was known as the Blackfly. However, in October 2023, they changed their brand name to Pivotal and the product name from Blackfly to Helix. That's actual news, baby. And if you want more of it, be sure to subscribe and turn on those notifications. Is that a car charger on an electric motorcycle? Yep. This unusual rideable is the Naxion I Am electric motorcycle, and it is causing quite the stir in the world of urban mobility, and for good reason. Not only does it feature an auto-grade charging port, but it boasts a 72 mile per hour top speed and a range of up to 110 miles on a single charge, all while offering quite the exhilarating riding experience. What else makes the I Am unique is its futuristic design. The sleek and clean aesthetic gives it a distinctively modern look, great for night rides around your city. There's also low power walking assistance, light show mode, and blindside detection. That's great for a motorcycle. The zero to 30 time is 2.8 seconds. Oh, and of course there's a phone app that not only provides remote vehicle locking, but in-depth riding reports as well. Next up is the YX1, an electric personal transport that defies categorization. Combining the best features of an electric scooter, skateboard, and mountain bike, the YX1 is designed to deliver a smile-filled experience on any terrain. With a powerful 1.5 kilowatt electric motor, this rideable can go just about anywhere. And while the YX1 defies conventional design, its functionality sets it apart from the pack. Resembling more of an electric skateboard or snowboard with wheels, it becomes a bold choice for adventure enthusiasts and urban commuters alike. Its off-road capabilities make it great for the beach, the trails, or just about anywhere. And besides its dynamic riding experience, it offers an unconventional way to navigate through different environments where the manufacturer is pushing the boundaries of design and performance to create a truly distinctive product. As a result, the XY1 stands out as a symbol of innovation in the electric rideable sector, offering a bold reimagining of what personal electric vehicles can be. But remember that electric drift cart for adults I mentioned earlier? Well, this unique electric rideable from the sunny state of Florida is the Taxi Garage Crazy Cart. And boy, is it crazy. Available in different stages from stage one to stage five, the company provides custom-built crazy carts, as well as fully assembled ones that are ready to ship. The Crazy Cart is known for its smile-making abilities, as it is essentially a one-wheel electric scooter with a platform that rotates around the base. Pretty neat. Stage one carts have a top speed of 15 miles per hour, while Stage 5 models have an astounding top speed in excess of 30 miles per hour. But I agree. An electric drift cart just isn't unusual enough as I'm looking for the newest way to get around. The Blizzwheel electric skates are truly unusual, revolutionizing personal transportation compactly and innovatively. These futuristic devices often liken to dinner plates strapped to your ankles, and despite their small size, they offer a practical solution for short commutes. The max speed is 15 miles per hour, and perhaps most unusual is the smart glove controller, which allows the rider to control the speed by contracting and extending their index finger. Delving in a little deeper, we'll see that the tires are airless, and there are three small stability wheels. The range is up to 15 miles and it's super portable, enough to fit in a laptop bag. Mounting is easy thanks to the foldable design. Just unfold the platform, set the back bar, buckle in and adjust the binding strap. You can even ride indoors into elevators or and we won't tell anyone if you do, you can ride on a single foot. But when is a dragonfly not really a dragonfly? When it's the freaking four-wheeled dragonfly hyperscooter, that's when. This unusual electric rideable defies traditional scooter and motorbike categories, especially thanks to its innovative 3D full tilt steering system, which provides a race car-like response great for navigating city streets. Created by Jez Williman and his team of professional fun havers, this atypical electric scooter also features four-wheel steering, allowing riders to synchronize their center of gravity, creating a more dynamic riding experience. Its unconventional appearance resembles a beefed-up skateboard with a steering column and features internal hub braking for incredible stopping power. There are two versions, the DF for urban streets and parks and the DFX for off-road adventures. Oh, and the top speed is 32 miles per hour. The price tag might bum you out though coming in at $39.95, if you really want to see a next-gen e-vehicle, then look no further than the Mullen 5 RS. But why? For starters, it has a freaking drone in the back. Look at this thing. It also has some Plaid-inspired specs like 0 to 60 in under 2 seconds, a max speed greater than or equal to 200 miles per hour, a 100 kilowatt hour battery pack. The interior screams next generation, while the exterior is also sleek and thoughtful without going overboard. 
the accents and trims are detailed and precise. And if you can't wait to get one in your driveway, you might want to hold on a minute. The price is expected to be $295,000. Yikes. And up next is a virtually unheard of electric vehicle so American that it is produced in the center of the United States, in Oklahoma. Be sure to check it out in this video right here. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. Thanks.